Bubstraat, which translates as Porridge Street, no doubt got its name from the earliest users of this road who would have camped here with their ox wagons and had breakfast before tackling the daunting Tarantalstraat, which follows directly after the small pass and which is in essence just a river crossing. The modern day road, although gravel, is in good condition, but as you will have to traverse Tarantalstraat as well, make sure that you are driving a high clearance vehicle or riding an adventure motorcycle. The pass is just 2,9 kilometers long and has a height gain of only 92 meters. Irrespective of whether you approach from the north or the south, Popstraat and its sister pass Tarantalstraat will always be driven together as they are effectively one long pass. We've described this pass from north to south. At the start the road heads directly south with a sharp descent. At the 400 meter mark the road bends through a shallow curve to the left then continue straight on descending at a constant gradient for another 600 meters. At this point the road makes a long gradual curve to the right then straightens up for another 400 meters. A fairly sharp turn to the right follows and be careful of corrugations on this corner. The bridge over the Dwarstrafir now appears directly in front of you. It's worth stopping at the bridge to enjoy the views, especially to the east. After crossing the bridge, the gradient kicks up immediately as the climb out of the valley begins. The road is dead straight for 600 meters, then makes a shallow turn to the right and straightens out again, climbing steadily to the end of the pass at the 2,9 km mark. This point is also the start of Tarantalstraat. Limpopo's Waterberg region answers every nature lover's dreams with wide open spaces and a rare wilderness quality with close encounters with some of Africa's most charismatic wildlife, a riot of biodiversity and some of the most pristine river systems in South Africa. 